Himachal voters have sent more MLAs with criminal cases and money power this time as compared to 2012. Association for Democratic Reforms, the NGO campaigning for reforms in electoral processes, has come up with analysis of criminal cases and assets of the newly elected MLAs. As per study, out of the 68 MLAs analyzed, 22, 32 percent MLAs have declared criminal cases against them. Out of these 14 are from BJP while two from the Congress. There were only 14, 21 percent MLAs with criminal cases in 2012 Assembly. While there were only five MLAs with serious criminal cases against them in 2012 but this time there are eight such lawmakers in the State Assembly. Out of the 68 MLAs analyzed, 52, 76 percent, are Crower Patties while in 2012 elections only 44, 65 percent. MLAs were Crower Patties. While all the 21 elected MLAs of Congress party are Crower Patties, only 28 out of its strong 44 MLAs are Crower Patties. But two out of top three MLAs with highest assets belong to the BJP. Balbir Singh Verma elected from Shopal constituency tops the list with assets worth Rs 90 crore. Congress Party's Vikram Aditya Singh, son of former Chief Minister Verbadra Singh who got elected from Shimla rural seat has assets worth Rs 84 crore while Anil Sharma who hopped from Congress to the BJP just before elections has assets worth Rs 40 crore. Anil Sharma won from Mandi constituency and happens to be son of former Union Telecom Minister S.U.K.H. Ram who has been convicted in a disproportionate assets case. The average assets of re-elected MLAs in 2012 was Rs 5.79 crore but this time it's risen to Rs 10.39 crore. The growth in average assets of re-elected MLAs between 2012 to 2016 is Rs 4.60 crores i.e. by 79%.